meantime, our focus is on this match. It'll be Bethany Matic Sands to serve first. Bethany, in her post-match media conference yesterday, thought that the two she hadn't played uh, Serana before, but they have met once back in 2008 in uh, Amelia Island. It was on clay, but say uh, getting the win at 6-3, 2-6, 6-4. That's a good return. Maddox Sands was a little slow to start yesterday in her match against Ash Barty was down to love before she worked her way back into it. playing doubles with a player of beater in the final here last year in Willa Gardasova. It's looking forward to getting out on the doubles court with her. Oh. We've got a match scheduled for later on tonight, weather permitting, against Daniela Jeffley and Tammy Patterson, the Australian duo. Great movement around the court from Maddox Sands. She holds opening game of the match. Earlier today, win for Sasha Jones in the first round. Shahar Peer also winning. One more first round match to come with Carlos Suarez Navarro and Annabel Medina Garrigues getting ready out on court events Tasmania to finish their first round match.
Seen a couple of the players during today electing to wear long sleeves. The cool, windy conditions. Stay now with game points in the second game of the match. Wanted to get ball too close to that hitting zone. Oh, but Maddox Sands did not have to move to hit that forehand. Could put everything into it. Star holds a level in this opening set. Second round action, the Marilla Hobart International. Good finish. Tough to play a drop shot from the baseline, which Maddox Sands did. But just drifting over the net. Stay got there. Maddox Sands was forced to follow it in. Two play there for Maddox Sands yeah, with a big first serve. Terrific. A big forehand coming into play. It's huge against Pervac in the first round. percentage for Maddox Sands is quite low at this stage and we can have plenty of time on that second serve and put a little bit more on it
Jeez, she did well to even get the ball back over the net. Didn't go in. The ball was behind her as she hit that. So Maddox Sands, after a bit of a struggle, managed to hold. We're on serve in this opening set. Maddox Sands leading two games to one. Uh, two break points here for Maddox Sands and she's getting a good look at the stay of first and second serve. We'll keep it away from that forehand side, which she does. Court ball, trying to take it on the rise, just mistiming it. 3-1 now. that backhand across court. 2-2, the opportunity to get a good look at a couple of second serves.
Seems Stay now has just got the mindset that she's going for absolutely everything. Just need to settle it a little bit. Certainly do it off the second serve, but off the first serve a little trickier. Matic Sands gets down to hit those ground strokes. It's digging out the half volleys. Also helps when you've got a big first serve you can throw into play. So the break consolidated. Maddox Sands now four games to one in this opening set. trailing in this uh, opening set. overhead to hit because that was moving away from her into the court. See the breeze just swirling around. Always tricky to hit. Oh, that just catching the top of the neck cord. Had a little bit of a look. See Maddox hands just trying to throw Star off her rhythm. Just give her a few different balls to look at. Bit of slice, just a couple of short ones. Okay, so okay. Played at a very quick pace. Star Lee trailing now, 2 4. Sands to serve now to go to a 5-2 lead. Really set up this first set. Two games all on court events Tasmania with Suarez Navarro and Medina Garrigues.
Yeah, that was close to the, the T line. John Blom, the umpire from New South Wales, not going to make the overall. So an easy hole for Maddox Sands. Five games to two. Castad to come out and serve to stay in this opening set. Makes sense, a little problem with her racket. She's going to swap them over. Maybe with the, the tension in the racket, so they've got plenty of rackets in the bag to go to. Once the rackets start to lose their tension, they don't feel as comfortable. Just missing. So with points to get it back to 5-3, we're now back at Juice. Just, uh, just pressing too much. And here it is talking to herself. It's had opportunities. Set point for Bethany Matek Sands. Oh, that's a good serve to get herself out of trouble. That's just wide too, so. Heap of unforced errors from the Castillo racket. It's just all or nothing hitting at the moment. 
It means another break point opportunity and another set point. That coming off the frame. Always drawing a few murmurs from the crowd. Terrific. She loves that forehand return. Just guiding it up the line. Just missing, and there's the first set. Bit of a fist pump to her husband, Justin. Six games to two. So the second set about to get underway. With Panic Sands to serve after taking the first set, six games to two. Tough work from the back of the court from Gustav. We know how she's going to play in this second set. Really keep Maddox hands pinned beyond the baseline. Setting up an early break point opportunity. to get down low to that one almost just dropping it over the net so that's the first game and that's a break to Castaia so a good start to this second set
She got too close to the ball there, Maddox Sands, but still did enough. Went straight back at Kastat. Wasn't quite ready for it. So uh, three break points to get this break back early on in this second set for Maddox Sands. Combination of solid returning and uh, a few more unforced errors into the Castaic game. Double fault to get the break back. Maddox Sands, one game all in this second set. Bethany taking the first six games to two. On court events Tasmania. Annabelle Medina Grig is five games to two up against Carlos Suarez Navarro. All Spanish encounter. First round, the, the final match of the first round. It's a terrific lob. Castaia moving forward into the court was stranded at the net. As she kept her body weight moving forward. There was no way she was going to be able to turn it around. And Bethany Maddox Sands looking good. Another score update from court CFM. Simona Halep leading four games to two. So she has a break in that first set. Arena Camellia Begu. An all Romanian clash. And Medina Garig is leading five games to two out there on court events Tasmania. So it was a call of fault. But I think it may have been corrected. Certainly John Blom saying play that as a lead. Oh, just missing. Gee, a perfect opportunity stay up it's moving just inside the service line 
No one near short enough from Maddox Sands. And so game point to go 2-1 up in this second set. Keep things on serve. Terrific. Great backhand cross court. Games on serve, two games to one. Manic Sands winning the first six games to two. Good finish, getting the short ball put away, but they've been few and far between for Castar in this match. Here on court events, Tasmania, Annabelle Medina Garrigas has taken the first set six games to two from Carlos Suarez Navarro. Tough volley. Great work. Nomadic Sands plays a bit of doubles. A great touch volley. And it brings up another break point. Court CFM, Simona Halep leading five games to three against Serena Camellia Begu. So an all Romanian clash there. Again, another struggle for Serana Castaya. But she's hanging in there. Two games all now in this second set. And so this match, 50 minutes old. Still very much up for grabs.
Pressure now on Maddox Sands. It's a very hit and miss in this match. And a nice change up in tactic too. We're seeing Maddox Sands coming into the net a lot more in this second set. She's definitely shortening the points, but she's putting the pressure back on Castaya, who's been a bit erratic. That's ace number three. Again, the power from Maddox Sands there. She is stepping up a gear, really putting her foot down now. Good finish. So an easy hold for Matek Sands. Three games to two now in this second set. We're still on serve in the second set, but Matek Sands taking the first six games to two. So an interesting stage in this match. Game still on serve. This breeze has really picked up in the last 10 minutes or so. A late call. Stay, I can't quite believe it, but... It was the right call. John Blom is right on that line. And she's not happy. But needs a couple of big first serves here. Far too short and easily put away. Just stepping into the court, Maddox Sands. And she kept on running as she hit that ball. Only going to be a clean winner. She's going to gobble it up at the net. Yeah, that's a good finish. Be all out attack from Castar from here on in. That's a terrific return. What a great pickup right into the hitting zone. It was meant to be a body serve. Now, break points. Or break point, I should say, for Maddox Sands to go to a 4-2 lead. And that was 
a low percentage shot to get it back to Juice. It's a terrific lob. Just enough to get over the outstretched racket. Of Castaya there. Maddox Sands with another break point opportunity to go to four games to two. Another second serve, but just couldn't quite put it away. She wanted to be aggressive again. Oh. They love it when the lines people get cleaned up at the back of the court. Great body serve from Castaia there. Uh, brings up a game point after saving a couple of break points. And there it is. So a tough hold. Castaia gets there. Three games all now in this second set. It's time to welcome a very special guest into our commentary position who she does a really good job in the next uh, couple of games could just be taking over the commentary. Young Sanukta Singh, very nice to see you. You've been um, hanging out with us up here in the, the media centre uh, for the last couple of days. Tell us, why are you here? Well, I'm interviewing players and seeing like what they do off the court and how they cope with all the stuff that they do. And yeah. Who's been your favourite player to interview? Because you've had a few interviews that you've done. Yeah, I really like Casey's because I got to lo uh, ask her a lot of questions and she was very nice. Now this is all part of the Hot Shots Hot Seat program. I don't know too much about it. Tell me, what, what is it all about? Well, basically you ask the players a couple of questions, they give you the answers and then you get a photo taken and it's recorded and you can have a look at it. Yeah, you've also made it onto, into the, the newspaper down here, the Hobart Mercury. If we can see, get a shot of that. Made it onto page seven too, which is uh, quite good. So not only are you oh. interviewing the players, but you're being interviewed yourself. Yep. And would you like to do this one day, this reporting and commentary? Maybe. That's a good finish from the star to get to 15.30. Also tells me that uh, you're also playing the under-12s. You've been the, the state under-12 champion. Yeah, I have. So how much time do you spend out on the tennis court a week? Well... I train um, three hours on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and then uh, I have morning sessions on Tuesday and Thursday and then I do my own practice on the weekends. And do you play here? Yeah, this is my club. So you would have a good idea of playing out on these courts, how windy it can get and how tough it can be yeah. for the players out there. Just uh, give us some idea of how tough it is sometimes when the wind is, is blowing really hard. Yeah, it's really hard. Sometimes you have to really be really consistent, put heaps of spin on the ball to get just to get it in. Oh. I'd say your family would be 
Loving the fact that you're up here hanging out with us, but also loving the fact that you're in the paper and they've got interviews, uh, interviews with all the top players and photos. Yeah, my dad's just down there. Imagine your bedroom wall at home will be full of photos with you and all the players. Yeah. And if you had the chance, out of all the players that you haven't had a chance to interview yet, who would you like to interview? Well, I don't really mind, like, I would just interview anybody, like, yeah. So, the tennis career f comes first, and then after that, going into the media. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> Good finish from Castaya. Against the run of play, we've got a break of serve, four games to three now. So, what's your program? coming up your tennis program we know you're doing lots of hard training on a regular basis well there's no one really in under 12s but like I play under 14 sometimes and there's one person who's Catherine Kruger yeah she's a bit of a competitor she, um, yeah she's beaten me but I played her like two years ago so it would be nice to play her again that was a long time ago probably improved a lot since then yeah that ball hits the back wall. And does she train here as well? Yeah, she does. What's your favourite surface? There are a lot of different surfaces here at the complex. You get to train on all the different surfaces. What do you like? Well, I like grass, but they don't have it at the venue because I play really well on grass because I'm shorter to the ground and I can get the bombs <laughs> quicker. <laughs> You had a chance yesterday to watch Bethany play and, and talk to Bethany after the match, but she took on young Ashley Barty, who's 15, not too far ahead of you. Yeah. What did you think about the way she played yesterday? Yeah, um, Ashley Barty's like a coming up junior and I think she'll go well. She's, this was her first WTA event and I hope she goes well. Just over hitting there, Castar got into great position. What about this match here? Bethany got off to a, a really good start, six games to two. It's been a lot closer in this second set. And as you know, about this time each day, the wind starts to pick up, so it makes things difficult. Yeah. Another double fault thrown in there. Now you also had the opportunity to hang out with our Fed Cup team. Yeah, I did. Was that down here in, in Tasmania when they were playing? Uh, well, I did have an opportunity here as well. I was ball kidding and I talked to Yaka and the team. And then I got another opportunity after that, which was when Australia played Ukraine in Melbourne at Glen Iris. Yep. yep. So I got invited there for a camp. Uh, it was four days and yeah, I really enjoyed it. Also up at the AIS as well in Canberra. What was that uh, experience like? Yeah, it was really good. I love the food. It's like amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and you can have as much of it as you like? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much the good part, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the desserts were amazing. Yeah, but you can't have too many of those because you're tra you're in amongst athletes. Yeah, but all, all the stuff is healthy. Ah, though. well, that's all right then. <laughs> oh! with another opportunity here to consolidate the break five to go to five three and turn around in this match you're going to interview one of the players after the match hopefully a 
might get have a chance to interview Bethany again. Yeah. You got different questions ready? Yeah, I'm working on them. Castaya consolidates the break 5-3 now in this second set. Which way do you think this match is going to go? Serrano's come back in this second set. Yeah. Bethany again changing over a racket. That's the second time. I think poor husband Justin's going to have to run and grab that racket too or gets restrung. Do you get the opportunity to travel around for tournaments? Yeah, I travel mainly around Victoria, New South Wales and South Australia. And the weather's just a little bit warmer than here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when I did play in South Australia, it was beautiful weather for the first three days. And then after that, it just poured down. And they had to cancel the final, and I got to the final. It was <gasps> my first tournament out of state. And I got to the final, and it was a gold tournament. So I was really pleased, and then it just bucketed down, and I was like, so sad. We <laughs> <laughs> oh. well, don't like tournaments like that. The tournament no. last year here was uh, rain affected in the middle, but we had a yeah. good day at the end for the final. Yeah, it was a brilliant day for the final, but a bit windy. <laughs> Too windy. You get a chance next week to head up to Melbourne to the Australian Open? No, not this time. I was going to, but then just thought I might just train here and, yeah. Too busy doing all, too busy with media commitments down here. <laughs> Big there, so the door opening for Kostar to take this second set. So, you do any ball kidding during the tournament? Yeah, I did ball kidding for the qualifying, and now I've got these media commitments. I just do them at the night. <laughs> Which means it's a very long day. Yeah. Beautiful shot. We talked about that article in the Mercury. Beautiful shot of you on your laptop. Yeah. While just bashing out a few questions. L love the, the action shot. And then with Casey. Have you met Casey before? No. In the camps that you've been to? No. Set point for Serrano Castaya. Carlos Suarez Navarro, three games to two in the second set. And on court events, Tasmania after Annabelle Medina Garigas took the first 6 2. And a point now to level this at one set all. volley. you hit those sort of volleys? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back to juice. Kostar couldn't quite believe it. It's a great ball straight at Maddox Sands. She was hitting that on the run.
breeze really picking up. You can see it with the net. Now, a few spots of rain. It's happening far too much. Oh, yeah. Last year was worse. It was. So the players are just sitting down. And the strange part is, is that the sunshine is out. We're at juice, so I think we're just going to wait this out because, as you would know, that once the lines get a little bit wet, they get very slippery. Yeah, they do. So how many times have you practiced on this court? Is this all the time you get to play on the, the centre court here? Yeah, pretty much. And so, back to first serve here at Juice. Just wait for the spectators behind to sit down. We caught out a little bit by the, I thought it was going to be a longer delay. And we're back underway again. Another set point now for Castaia. She's had a couple of opportunities here to finish it off. to just lightly touch the net on the way through. There's no machine in place, so it's just up to the chair umpire to make the call. Still set point. And there it is. So the second set to Serrano can stay up. We're locked at one set all. Sanukta, we'll leave you to prepare your questions for whoever might be winning this. Thank you so much for joining us. I think you might just have a little bit of a future in this, so I've just better be careful about my job this week. <laughs> uh, keep enjoying, and we'll uh, be watching you on the live stream uh, doing your ball kidding work tonight. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. You can see the wind's picked up considerably over the last set and things now starting to blow onto the court. So we just have to stop there, but first game of this third set, still anyone's match. Off 
off the back of the line, just missing. Score updates from the other courts. Court events Tasmania, an interesting match developing there. Carlos Suarez Navarro, four games to two in that second set. And Abel Medina Garriga is taking the first set, six games to two. Suarez Navarro serving on that court. Great drop shot. Just tried that a couple of times. It's a pin behind the baseline to make up a heap of ground. Almost got there. Two more break points for Matic Sands in this final set. Score on court CFM. Simona Halep 6 4 and 2 1 now in the second. Still one more opportunity. Good. Deep work from Kastar, deep into the back of the court. This time it was Maddox Sands on the back foot. Inside the court, another short ball, Castaia just putting it away and now a game point to save a couple of break points. Uh, the opening game of this final set. Players have been out on court an hour and 21 minutes. The crowd hanging around enjoying the action. Coming up tonight, Yanina Vikmar, the number one seed, is taking on Casey Delacqua from Australia. First double fault for the match.
Certainly hasn't been a matter of Maddox Sands' game dropping. It's more Castaia has lifted. to come into the net, put the pressure back on Castaia to hit the passing shot. That's oh, a terrific serve. Was looking to serve volley again. Just kept moving away from Kastab out wide. Game point. Now it's a good finish. A level in this final set. Earlier today, Anna Chakvatatsi with a straight sets win. Also, Shahar Pair through to round two. Sasha Jones and Anjali Kerber scoring wins on court CFM. Oh, terrific pick up. Low to the ground. Had to get down low to that one. Just soft hands to take all the pace off the ball. hit from Castaia there. There's well, plenty of spin on that ball. He's rolling back towards her. So since whoever gets the first break here will probably go on to win the match. Everything into that backhand return. Dramatic sands and paid off. Break point opportunity. There it is. Up the line. Clean winner off the backhand from Maddox Sands. She's got the break. 2 1 in the final set. Tactic from Maddox Sands. She's 
Throwing in a couple of serve volleys in this final set. Just trying to change things around, do something different. Did well to get close up to the net, but just left a small gap. Max Sands was good enough just to guide it up the line. Sands there because that drop shot wasn't short enough. They could stay to get there. So she holds, consolidating that break 3-1 now in the deciding third set. Forecast is in for the next couple of days. shower or two tonight. Tomorrow we're expecting scattered showers until the evening. And then a shower or two clearing on both Thursday and Friday. But fine conditions for the final day on Saturday. So forecast not looking great for the next couple of days but looking good at the end of the week, which is the main thing. Terrific, just piercing the line and to stay up. Now, just hang in there. Maddox Sands leading by three games to two in this final set.
Hi, Cole. Close to the line. Oh, terrific. Gee, this game's gone up a notch. Stay a full stretch on the forehand. It's a good volley too. Five games all on court events, Tasmania two in that second set. Again attacking Bandic Sands into the net. Great serving to get herself out of trouble again. Been tested a couple of times on serve. That one set up nicely for it. Another terrific volley. Really got to say, must be happy looking at this performance this afternoon. And she's going to be playing doubles with Bethany. So break point saved. We have a score from Court CFM. Simona Halep recording a win, Battle of the Romanians. Oh. She's not happy with the call. It's only a second double fault for the match. So just depending, Simona Halep. Winning Arena Camille Begu of Romania 6-4-6-2. And Samana now to play the winner of Vikmaya Delacqua, which will be played tonight on centre court. Breakpoint Castell. Oh, had every opportunity to put that cross court. They've all set up for it.
good work from Castell. That's a tough overhead to hit, particularly judging the breeze. Castell with another break point opportunity. Suspect that he seems to be looking to go down the middle or nail the body serve. Second serve, nowhere near big enough. And so the break back, three games all in this third and deciding set. One hour and 42 minutes out on court. Suarez Navarro has held serve on court events Tasmania. He's got a 6-5 lead in the second set. Great volley deep into the juice court. She's done that well. Here to chip charge. Just keep the pressure on Kastar. time these two played back in 2008. It's a tight match there as well with Castillo winning 6-3, 2-6, 6-4. Yeah, so Castillo holds 4-3 now in the final set. Uh, looks like an easy hole coming up for Matek Sands. As it looks like 
Carlos Suarez Navarro with a set point out on court events Tasmania. That's a good way to finish it off. Fifth ace for the match for Maddox Sands. We're locked at four games all. And given the players come to the bias chairs, we're going to get the balls changed over. So an opportunity for Smith need to pick up another racket. Set points. Looks to be saved on court events Tasmania. So back to Juice with as far as Navarro 6 5 over there. Fault number seven for Serrano Castaia. Just two for Maddox Sands. That's a good way to follow it up. First serve's so important this stage of the match. Terrific serve. Her first ace for the match coming at a perfect time. Maddox Sands serving to bring this back on an even keel in this final set. So Maddox Sands serving here for five final set. Oh, just missing. She got a good look at that. Just couldn't execute. It's gone to a tiebreaker out on court Vince Tasmania. Between Navarro and Garrigas in that second set. Seems to be someone calling out. I think Castaia stopped for a moment. It's a terrific serve volley point though. Manic Sands really closing in. And again a bit of luck for Manic Sands. That drop shot sat up for Castaia. Just couldn't put it away. Three game points to bring this back to five all. Oh, oh that was close to the line too. So just catch the caught the end. person in good position to pick that up. Turn it on the channel pie. Not going to overrule the ball going in that quick. That's good work again. Five games all now in the final set. Ticking towards the two hour mark for this match.
Still anyone's match. have had opportunities off each other's second serve. Makes sense. Take the opportunity now, you would suspect, just to push into the net, keep that pressure on. The star has been good on serve in this final set. Just the one break. to make up a whole bunch of ground that makes sense and that's the first time the barrel's been hit on the top the event remember it's a, a tiebreaker in this third set if it does happen to go the distance stay yeah, holds Get the advantage in this final set, six games to five now. Terrific return, Stapp. Gonna throw everything at Maddox Sands here. We'll go to a tie break if Maddox Sands does happen to hold. Breakout could happen, just a matter of inches. Great volley. So comfortable at the net today. Really enjoying watching her come into the net, particularly serve volleying. Interesting stage here. Maddox Sands will be looking for a first serve. Will she come in and serve volley? It's been a couple of times that during the match, particularly in this third set, Elder coming behind the ball. Just a one that's drifting wide. This brings up match points. Just on two hours for this match. Stay with a match point. And a second serve. And there it is. Serrano Castaya comes from a set down to beat Bethany Maddox Sands. 
Some great tennis from both players.